sure you all watched a bit of the US Masters last week. Um, wasn't it great? I mean, Dustin Johnson, what a, what a display he put on to get to 20 under par. He was just cruise control on that back nine, long and straight off the tee, rolling in the putts. Um, and the other story as well was, I mean, what about Tiger on the 12th there, making a 10 on the par three? Um, how many of us would have just packed in after that? He carried on, he made five birdies to finish his round, so he finished on a high. Fantastic to watch. Um, but the other big story going into the week was Bryson DeChambeau. Um, you know, everyone was expecting him from the, the talk prior to the uh, to the week of him going out there. His par, for, he said, was 67 for the course. Um, and he was going to go out there, bomb his driver and, and have wedge into most greens. But uh, for him, it didn't work out. Back to the drawing board. Um, but the final round was amazing. He played with uh, Bernard, Bernard Langer, uh, who, um, you know, is a 63-year-old. He's the oldest player to have made the cut at Augusta in the Masters. And he just looked as fit as a fiddle, didn't he? From... You know, when he won it um, nearly 30 years ago in 93, he, he didn't look any different, you know. But um, so obviously he's kept himself in great shape. He's still swinging well. But he was actually Bernard Lange. He was the last player to win the Masters using a wooden-headed driver. Um, and how equipment has changed since then. I mean, it doesn't seem that long ago to me. But obviously 30 years nearly is a long time. Um, and even look at when Tiger first won in 97. His, his bag had changed massively. He had an old set of blades in there small headed tightless drive with a steel shaft um, and you look at now yeah everything has gone lighter quicker that's what it's all about as well as the players being more powerful too um, so I thought it'd be fun to compare the two two drivers I've got an old wooden headed driver here in the shop um, and the first thing you notice when you put the two clubs down and anyone will say this is go oh, the size of their head you know in the, cl the club head as you put the two together there you know it looks like it's the size of a, of a modern day hybrid club um, but without any loft on it, you know, really difficult to use. It's heavy as well, having a steel shaft in it, um, compared to a you know titanium head graphite shaft of a modern day driver. Let's see what can happen when we uh, when we swing. See the difference. Doesn't fill me with confidence looking down at it. Let me tell you that. Sounded lovely though that. Amazing the sound of an old wooden headed driver. That's the Dustin Johnson cut that he was playing with this, this last week at Augusta. Oh, I'd be struggling to compete on a, any round of golf hitting in that kind of shot. 203 yards that carried in the air. Um, rolled out to just over 220. Um, ball speed off it, 134 miles an hour. So not that's not going to compete with a lot of things. Now, a certain amount of things is down to the person and the technique and the swing. You know, technique is everything, strength and everything else. But let me show you the difference with a new driver. This is my, my current driver I use, the Lynx Black Cat. Straight away, it's got loft on it. I play with 11 and a half degrees loft on my driver. Nice big club head, nice and light. Let's get some speed into it. Very different sound off that. Feel off it, felt good, felt quick off the face. And it's held its line. Very forgiving driver. There we go. Just short of 250 carry, which, you know, I'm not a tall player. <laughs> um, but the ball speeds up to 149 miles an hour. Um, and that, that's the sort of thing. What's the other one? was 220. So it's, it's gone nearly 50 yards further um, with a modern day driver. Now, I'm not saying between a club that's 10 years old you're going to see 50 yards difference, but if we can creep 10, 15, 20 yards up on, on what you currently have, it's got to be worth something into the, for your next shot into the green. Um, we've now got, um, just so you know, uh, we've, we've, we've always had Callaway and Ping as the main two brands in the shop. We have Lynx as well, which I currently play. Um, but we've also got now Srixen Cleveland. And we're very excited in February uh, when Cobra launched their new kit. We're going to have the new Cobra stuff as well. So lots of choice. Um, if you would like to try anything uh, or you're interested, we don't charge members a penny for a fitting. Um, so it's all free of charge. You can come along, book some time with myself, James or Sonny. Um, we're all qualified club fitters. Um, come down, have some fun in the studio and, uh, and take advantage. Um, hope to see you soon. Thank you.